hello good day once again you are welcome back in this um, virtual class of we're going to look at this question they show that integral a raised to power s dx is equal to 1 over ln a times a raised to the power of x plus uh, c uh, where c is an arbitrary constant okay here we we try as much as possible to find uh, an appropriate technique that can be able to you know produce the desired results okay here we use uh given these questions and the appropriate uh, techniques is integration by uh, algebra substitutions okay uh well, first of all by letting this uh, uh function which is a raised to the power of s be any uh known variables okay here we say uh let's we say let u is equal to the uh, a raised to the power of x so we are putting in place of u uh in place of a raised to the power of s was saying let it be u okay and if that is done this uh expression this integral becomes integral integral u ds okay and what this is done we try in an in integration by algebra substitution all we need to do is to find an expression uh, that can take off uh, the s uh, from the uh, integral okay since we have let u is equal to something it means that there's need for us to you know also look for an expression that we replace uh, the s okay now all we need to do here is we have said that uh, u is equal to a raised to the power of s we differentiate uh, u uh, with respect to x okay now here all we need to do it is uh, quite not easy uh, to just apply um, the ordinary differentiation rule for this because this is a power s is uh, a function of a power okay all right all we need to do was to apply uh, logarithm to both sides okay now we apply uh, logarithm to both sides which is the natural logarithm to both sides and this expression here the expression here becomes uh lin u is equal to lin a raised to the power of x okay then you know in order for us to you know get this uh much more clearer now we first of all take lin u lin u and apply the derivative uh to it okay we differentiate uh lin u with respect to s and if that is done uh, the u is uh, like a function of another function so uh, and we know that the integral uh, to, uh, to, 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 to differentiate the differentiator uh, uh, for instance uh, in x is simply uh, the result is equal to 1 uh, divide uh, x okay but because the u is a function of uh of its own u is a function of its own uh our expression here becomes one over u times u uh ds okay that is to the left hand side now let's look at the right hand side the right hand side is x lin a that means it's a product of x times lin a so here we're going to differentiate but here we adopt uh the product rule uh of the rate of derivative okay so using product rule where well, here we put that let uh, the whole of this function x lin a is equal to f of x so we assume that f of s is equal to s lin a now here our choice of g of x and h of x uh, we can pick any of them but here i said let g of s is equal to x uh, in that case h of s become lin a so uh, for the product rule now f prime of s is equal to h of x times g prime of x plus g of s times h prime of x okay now g of x if we find the derivative of um, g of x with respect to x 
there is going to give us uh, the result is one okay and uh, h our uh, prime of x h prime of x uh because lin a is a constant okay there's, there's no x here so for that reason it's a constant and the derivative of a constant is usually zero so our f prime of s becomes uh equal to one you know from the formula one times h one times lin a which is h of x times g of g prime of s times h of s plus h of s times uh, g prime of x okay and f prime of x becomes uh lin a so the in, in essence that is the derivative of um s lin a is just equivalent to uh, lin a okay and if that is uh, substituted in this uh in this uh in this uh function you will see that we've seen that lin u is equal to one the derivative of the u is equal to one over u times the u dx and that of x lin a is equal to lin a okay and uh, what we need to do here like i said initially that we are looking for uh since we are said let uh, a raised by s equals to u we will try and look for an expression for the x okay now here we uh we we'll make the x we'll make the x subject of the relation okay so by so doing how do we achieve that we will multiply both sides by the x uh, over lane a and if that is done it's going to have one over u times the u ds times ds over lean a because we said multiply both side by the x over lean a uh, similarly on the right hand side we have lean a uh, which is here times the x over lean a and you see that the s is off uh, here uh, the s cancel the s and on the right hand side lean a cancel the a so that uh, here we obtain an expression for the s okay then once that is done the expression for ds is one over u uh the u over lin a and uh, we quickly substitute it in our equation one so integral of u ds in place of the s we will substitute one over u uh times the u over lin a and if that is done you see that uh u here we cancel u and the whole expression become the whole expression here if you look at the, the denominator here, the a is a constant. So uh, from the rule of the derivative, once a constant is there, we we, we factor the uh, constant x and we'll use it to multiply the derivative. So this becomes one over the a integral uh, one the u. So now from here we can easily uh, integrate, and the integral of one uh, uh, the u is u. So uh, the whole uh, expression on the left hand side become one over the a times u plus an arbitrary constant uh, c okay uh we recall that we said let u is equal to a raised to our s here we return back uh by saying re replacing u is equal to a raised to the power of s uh, therefore our uh, integral of a raised to the power of s dx is equal to one all over lin a uh times a raised to the power of s plus an arbitrary constant c uh place this out to you know achieve this uh, uh derivative please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please uh, take time take your time off hit the subscribe button um and also help me share have a nice time to you. i see you in my next uh, virtual class